So, so these are five, these are, see, in the mosque, it's just this fully, like, the decoration is just this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are, this is the brass, it's written in, uh, in the decoration. Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Uh, and then, uh, it's like that. Isn't that MC that? Yeah, my, it's, it's like the temple MC. Well, it's actually, believe it or not, it is, it is writing, but it's just written in this way. It is so, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, no. Yes, yes, they have come to the so 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 um, this is just like another prayer, but it's in Saudi Arabia, it's much more, yeah, yeah, Oh, good. 
First, I stand up, yeah. and then I put my hands up and say, Allahu Akbar, that is, God is great. I put my hands here on my, on my chest, and then recite, or read parts from this Quran. And then I bow down, you know, and then I stand up again, and then go down prostrate on the carpet. And I also read parts from this Quran. And I keep repeating that for about uh, five or six minutes. And this is the end of the prayer. It's all about give thanks to the Almighty God for everything. And um, can you see the carpet is, is not really straight line? Yeah. It is because uh, there is a direction we got to be facing this direction, which is Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. So this is the direction. If we stand up this rug and facing this side here, then we will be straight forward or you know straight to the to the Mecca or uh, Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Can you see it in the, in the photo? There's the biggest mosque in the world right? here. And this cubic building in the middle here, this is the central point that all people who pray all over the world, right? they need to turn their face to this to this place. So this shows the unity of Muslims that they all pray to the same direction. So here in New Zealand, we calculate the distance between, uh, between us and New Zealand and the right direction. So while we are praying, we are actually turning our face to this cubic building, small one here in Mecca in Saudi Arabia. 
thousand of miles away from us. So um, you said you prayed you do it five times. Yes, we do it five times every day. What's the meaning of the five times? Like, just... Five different times. We do one, the first one in the morning, early in the morning before sunrise, mm -hmm. which is we call it dawn, and the next one we do it in the noon time, which is uh, after the after the midday, it's around one o'clock, and the third one afternoon before sunset. Uh, it's about two hours before sunset. We call it afternoon prayer. And then the fourth one is evening prayer, which is sunset prayer. And the last one after the disappear of the twilight, which is about one and a half hour after sunset. And this is the last one. Every one, every prayer take about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes maximum. And all what we say in the prayer is just to give thanks to the Almighty God, the Creator, for whatever He has given us to enjoy in our life, for the health, for the, um, for the beautiful environment, for the sun, for the moon, for the food, for the happiness, for the love, for everything we enjoy in our life. We believe that everything, all these things we, uh, we enjoy in our life come from the Creator, the Almighty God. So the prayer is just to give thanks to Him as a kind of a sign of appreciation. We appreciate what He has given to us and we, give, we ask Him to maintain it, you know, these favors, and at the same time to give us more of it. So this, this link actually spiritually help us to be good people and to uh, be thankful and appreciative to everyone. So whenever anyone who give us, who do a favor to me or to us, we, we, need, we are taught to be appreciative and to give thanks to him or to her uh, all the time, not only once a time, once a, in a time, but we just keep thanking him and appreciating him. And this is actually uh, reflected positively in our behavior with the people, how would you be appreciative to everything, even if it is a little bit, if it is a very tiny thing, it is a little bit. And also just show the unity, because we stand here in the prayer, no distinction or no discrimination between anyone. I mean, people with different color skin, different cultures, different uh, languages, different even uh, social ranks, like you can find a minister or a ambassador. And the next to him, just uh, an ordinary person. I mean, there is no distinction here. Some people should be in the front. And only the Imam who could be in the front as a kind of leading, leading the process to be, like, to be united. Not one, not, I mean, uh, doesn't have this, uh, what you call chaos, that everyone is, one is standing up, one is sitting down, just to be together, to, to need to be organized and arrange it. In the, even in the way we thank Allah, the Almighty God, or the way we appreciate uh, things we are given. So uh, this is a uh, the prayer system, and that's why it is repeated five times. So do you, um, can people do? Is it recommended that you pray in Arabic, or can you pray in English? No, we pray in Arabic yeah. because the words we say in the prayer are very few, easy for anyone to learn. And the amazing thing is just like the number of Muslim in the world is about 1.5 billion. Out of those number, 1,500 million Muslims. About 150 million only speak Arabic, and the rest, so more than 85% of the Muslims don't speak Arabic at all. Wow. But for them, the, the, the Arabic words of prayer are so easy, they just easily understand it and read it and learn it. And we start teaching our kids from the early uh, childhood, so when they grow up, they, they don't feel any problem at all to say the same words, these words of prayer all the time. It's because it's, because it's just simple words like, all about giving thanks to the Almighty God. So it's all about thank you, give us more, I appreciate what you have given to me, help me out to be a good person, you know, things like that. It's, it's, it's just giving thanks and glorification of the Almighty God, and easy to understand. Um, so uh, Arabic is, is the only language used in, in the prayer for this video. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Thank you. You are most welcome. It's in here. Ah, okay. So it's a try one. Oh, that's the same one. Because this mosque is there. And this building here, this cubic black building, is called Al Kaaba. Because it's a cubic, cubic shape. This black cover is silk but it's just like normal black bricks it is covered by black silk here this is a central point for muslims for a central point to turn their face in the prayer and this 
huge number of people, around 2 or 3 million people in the season of Hajj pilgrimage. They go once a year for this pilgrimage to this place, to this mosque, to provide their thanks and to commemorate the, uh, you know, the, uh, the rebuilding of this uh, mosque a thousand of years ago. So for the Muslims, it's obligatory, it's one of their, uh, the obligations of their faith to go once in their lifetime to this place to perform Hajj or pilgrimage. And um, this actually the older photo is about 10 years old, but currently there are a lot of extension to accommodate up to 6 million people. It's amazing how people you know, go in this place, live together in a very crowded environment, and they share um, the rituals of the, of, of the prayers and thanksgiving to the Almighty God in this place. And all of them dress the same. They dress very simply, they dress very humbly, so they remove any kind of uh, differentiation or discrimination between classes of people. Rich, poor, black and white, uh, Arab, non-Arabs, all Muslims come from all over the world. This number of people get together to know each other and to share their ideas and their beliefs and the beauty of their faith, to express the unity and display the unity of Islam and the unity of, of, of the brotherhood and being together the humanitarian, the, the unity of humanity, the two humans are equal and they have the same rights and the same responsibilities and remove any kind of discrimination among the Muslims. So this is one of the great manifestations of Islam to have this to display this unity of Muslims. And every year, this is what it's accommodating that is going around around this, if there is no prayer time, because we pray five times every day. If this is not the prayer time, the, the interval time between every prayer and the next one, they do this circumambulating, or we call it tawaf, an expression of, of unity as well, because... Sorry, to circulate it would be part of the Hajj, you have to do that? Yes, you've got to do that, yeah. seven times. Seven times uh, when you go there, minimum seven times. You see, but it's it's also because you know I have to learn to. Um, I have been there before, and usually we get very stressed and very high timber when we will be in a very crowded place, right? But over there we learn how to control our timber and how to customize our uh, actions to to be more uh, patient and to be to to be more endurable and to you know to accept a different type of environment. Like you could to imagine this number of people, this huge number of people there. Four or five million people live in a very tight place, as you can see, and they still behave friendly, nicely and kindly, without raising their voice, without like losing their timber. It reflects on their behavior when they go back to their hometown, their, their place. They will be more patient, more tolerant, and they will behave because they already lived in a very tough circumstances and they managed to uh, get trained to, to be more gentle and more kind and soft hearted. And this is actually one of the main things. It's a kind of conference of Muslims, an international conference, universal conference of Muslims of all the world to, to discover and to know for sure that we. We all humans have equal rights and responsibilities. The differences and the discrimination and uh, this kind of thing is created by men to put some people down, put some people high, and discriminate between people based on their uh, skin color, or language, or culture, which is not fair. We all share this life, we all share this world, and we've got to be together and to work together to love each other, care about each other. This is actually the greatest lesson for Muslims to learn from this visit and from this practice of Hajj on the centers. This is where he was built in Asia. Yeah, it is. It is really amazing. And it, you can't imagine how those people... It's a very small place. It's not so big. It's very small. They live, they eat, they walk, they eat, they, they recycle the rubbish. All of this take place in a very short time with this huge number of people. It's amazing. It's a, it lasts for about 10 days, only 10 days. But people actually go all over the whole year for a short visit. But the Hajj time or the pilgrimage time, it's a fixed time. But all over the year, year we are free to go and visit, just to visit there and spend some time there. 
which is not compulsory, it's just something that you can go and it's come. And it's more easier because not much crowded. Only season of Hajj is, is really crowded. Cool. You want, okay, benefit. No, you want to spiritually benefit because it's still, you know, also number of people like around one million or one and a half million over there. But for that number, it's not uh, busy. It's just, uh, you know, just a num small number of people. And as a Christian, if I was to tell them, this <laughs> would I be welcome? Look, this is a very special place for, for special rituals, right? Uh, what I can say, it's for Muslims who understand what to do here. So for non-Muslims, they don't understand or they don't actually know what, what, what it is. It's a kind of, kind of professional rituals. So only for the people who understand and recognize the uh, symbolic things of, of the, all of these actions. In other words, I mean, for the... For an ordinary person, if he, if he grab a bottle of medicine, he doesn't understand much about this medicine. But if you give it to a medical person or a doctor, he, might, he might, may know more than the ordinary person. Maybe the other person only know this is a medicine. That's the maximum I can know. But the how, how this medicine work, when I should take it, when I shouldn't take it, and what the, what are the ingredients of this medicine, when it was created or manufactured, all of these things, maybe the person who got the back, medical background know about that. So for the most, for the Christians, this is really a kind of restricted place only for Muslims, just to this place. But outside, they can, non-Muslim, they can come and watch and see. But to take part in this, in the rituals, it, it's, it's not, it's not actually uh, suitable. Not, not their place. Not, not their place. But they are welcome to join as watching and observing and monitoring. Once they got to know what is going on here and get convinced that that's something, you know. Um, instructed by the Almighty God, by the Creator, then they would actually feel like to, to join. They will, they will join willingly. But otherwise, they, they wouldn't understand what is going on. Why those people are uh, circumambulating or running around in this place? What, what, what their prayer? What, why are they saying that? But it's... I mean, we have stories from the soldiers, American soldiers, thousands of them who went to Iraq and Gulf country in Gulf War, 1991, and they spent the years there. They said, when they went to visit, just to visit from outside, they said, it's enough for us to get the, the spirituality. We're looking for the feeling of, of the greatness of Islam just by looking at that. You know, if you see that alive, you know, it's for me, it's very uh, inspiring and very exciting just to look at the picture. But if, if, if you are there, right there, and you see by your own eyes, this huge number of, of people in this event, and this movement, this moving of people, you will get sort of impression that irresistible. That that's something great. That's amazing. That's that's reason amazing. And you know, we Muslims believe that the one who built this uh, mosque is Prophet Abraham, the Abraham. That's the Prophet, the father of Isaac and Ishmael. And uh, we've been told in the Holy Quran that all prophets and messengers, including even Moses, Jesus Christ, all of them had made, made a visit to this place to perform the rituals because they all have the same play, uh, belief that there is only one God, there is only one creator for the whole universe. And the only thing that, the only, uh, the thing that all prophets and messengers preach it to their people is only worship my God, you only one God, submit yourself to the will of God, live your life peacefully and be beneficial to the whole universe. That's it. So this is actually the, uh, the main source or the main dogma or the main uh, the main guidelines for all religions and, and uh, messengers. So we believe that this, this holy mosque, mosque is belong to all humans. It, it, it all, but the people who adopt the same faith, that there's only one God and all messengers and prophets come from the same chain and they all adopt the same methodology and all they have the same doctrine, the same belief, there's only one God, submit yourself to, to the Almighty God, to the Creator, be appreciative to Him and live your life according to his teachings, according to his instruction, and that's it, you're going to be successful in this life and the life hereafter as well. So we still, in the Quran, in the recitation, and the worship, we, we, we do right there. We, we mention the name of Abraham, and we give, we give thanks to him. We mention the name of Moses, and we give thanks to him for, you know, being a prophet and messenger, who delivered message. We give thanks to Jesus Christ as a mighty and prophet and messenger of the Almighty God, for being part of the same message, delegation of, of uh, honorable 
uh, respected messengers who came to the humanity to guide them to the right way or to the Almighty God, uh, the Creator. So uh, I can say this is a universal place for people of faith, people of uh, reasoning, people of uh, belief in, in only one, uh, one, one God, one the Creator, and the, um, uh, and the life hereafter, and the, the simplicity and the peace of this this life. This life. Is there a similar uh, mosque in Medina? Yes, it's uh, the picture is right ah. here. There was a finish of the mission of Mecca, which is because of this, so the mosque is limited. Um, but I faced to the prosecution, but for the people who are Medina was a place that welcomed more than 15 years after. Here, it's in terms of size, it's bigger than the because of the extension. This is the prophet, the place where the prophet lived. The last 10 years of his life, right. right. yeah. that was, that was the, the, the fort of yeah. migration. Yeah. That's right. But this mosque yes. has been doubled in size more than 100 times. Like the normal size so is more than 100 times. More than, you know, it's a huge one. And uh, the Muslims, you know, uh, finished some of the rituals. Mecca and then to travel to create the whole universe. So this is, this is, this is, so so this is where so this all is the God I'm so proud of. He named them instead of Allah. And the Arabic woman said, Pray in their room down here. Yeah. It doesn't make much difference. Yeah. So in the beginning, yeah. Prophet Muhammad used yeah. 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 to pray turning the fist to the rest of the Because that's an action of God. And then after that, Allah commanded for his presence to change their face and to turn to Mecca. If you have a look at the people, if you look at the buildings, you can see how big it is. And now we can form at any one time about 1.5 million worshippers inside and outside. And as you can see, all the people have been to the So, inside, you can tell the pool as well. So, this is the whole inside thing. And this is this particular thing, they can actually perfectly I want to pick up very much during this is how our life works. You know, I mean, somebody was given a job for religion. It's best to know something. Not just a question.